Hi there! Let's take a look at the new presets config option added to Tailwind CSS in version 1.9. Here's an example of a fictional style guide built by customizing Tailwind. You can see it has a custom font, three brand colors, and some typography styles. If we look at the Tailwind config file, we can see the customizations applied. The theme's default colors are replaced by a white and three semantic color names that bring back Tailwind's default purple, teal, and gray. We also have a new font family utility called Font Brand, which brings in a custom font. Finally, the typography plugin is added in our plugins array. Now, say that the same team works on another project with Tailwind, where they want the same brand colors, custom fonts, etc. They would have to apply the same customizations to the other project's Tailwind config file once again. This is where presets come handy. Tailwind 1.9 comes with a new presets key in the config, which lets you replace or compose Tailwind's default config with your own starting point. When no presets key is defined, Tailwind will fall back to using the default config, which would be equivalent to having a presets array here and in there require Tailwind CSS default config. Everything still looks the same since this explicitly replicates the default behavior. Notice that if my presets option is an empty array, I am now opting out of the default config. Our page now still shows the custom font and typography we added to our config, but we've lost all the default styles. We don't even have our custom colors here since we stripped out the background color and text color sections of our default config, which are responsible to generate our color utilities. As you can see, opting out of the default config is pretty radical, but can be useful when you want to completely take over the default starting point. Presets also let you, of course, use your own presets. I'll create a new presets-brands.js file in our project, and in there we'll export a theme object, which contains what we had in our Tailwind configs theme. We'll also bring over the typography plugin in that preset. At this point, our page has lost all its styles, but we'll now go and use our preset in the Tailwind config file. I'll require current folder slash preset brand. Our page is now back to how it looked before, and there is no customization inside our Tailwind config file. We're just using an external preset, which can be shared across multiple projects. Now, note that presets can have their own presets. Once again, if no presets key is defined, Tailwind's default config will be implicitly required. This is why our page is fully working again here. Our preset is bringing back the default config. If I make a presets key here in my custom preset and pass an empty array, we've now stripped the default config out once again. Now, to demonstrate how multiple presets can be composed together, let's create another preset file called preset blog, where we'll move our typography plugin, assuming that some projects for our fictive company would only need the brand styles and not the blog styles. To bring this preset in our project, we could require it as a preset from the brand preset. And once again, you can see our full config brought back implicitly, unless a presets array is defined in our blog preset. We now have a chain of presets where our main config file requires the brand preset, which in turn requires the blog preset. We can also require multiple presets in the same presets array, which is why it's an array, and the presets will be resolved in the order that they are declared in the array. I'll stop requiring the blog preset from the brand preset, and instead require it from our main config file after the brand preset and it still works the same. Now, our preset obviously needs the default config in this scenario to look good. We could require it here before the two custom presets, but since the brand preset depends on it, it sounds like it's a good idea to require it there instead. I'll remove the first require statement in our config file here, and we can leverage the implicit default config import by removing the presets key in our brand preset. And our page works once again. We are now composing multiple presets in our config file and can easily reuse these custom presets in different projects using Tailwind.